Hello everybody and welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today I have for you the idea machine. Yes, that's right, a machine that will help you generate ideas. This may sound a little bit crazy, but basically when I'm on my plot world I often get asked or see in chat people saying, I don't know what to build, what should I build? And I thought, hey, it's simple, you just need to throw a bunch of random ideas together, right? Well, I've now made a little bit of a machine to do that. So let's have a look at how this thing works. Basically what you're going to do is open up a chest and it's going to give you a, uh, a random, let's say, instruction or guideline for what you're going to be building. So if ever you need building ideas, you can use this thing right here. So we can go up to the first one, which is going to be our theme, and we've been instructed to go for futuristic. Now, not all of these are going to overlap 100%, so let's go and click on the next one, which is building, and it's a stable. There you go. So a futuristic stable might not be quite what you had in mind, uh, but it'll also give you a size to build this in as well. So that's a pretty reasonable large size to build your futuristic stable in. And it can only be 15 blocks tall, which is really cool. So that's how the idea thing works right here. Let's go and do that once more. Now you're going to build a Victorian memorial. That works well together, I think. Uh, a very small one as well that's only 11 blocks tall. <laughs> that is really cool and it's as simple as that. Uh, but as well as these first four instructions which is basically the theme, the building and then the size, you can also throw in some additional modifiers as well. So this one right here is called the twist. We click on that you can see you can go underwater so building a memorial underwater would be uh, real crazy or you could go simply underground or you can make it look run down or uh, underwater has appeared again and uh, you can make it look like it's under construction as well so there's like a bunch of twists that you can add to this there's also restrictions and challenges so if you want to make your building maybe a little bit more difficult you could put on a restriction so you're not allowed to use stone blocks or perhaps you're not allowed to use any slabs or stairs um, as well as that you can also add the challenge so let's have a look in here so you could include a crop farm now that's going to be a little bit difficult on a memorial but maybe if you've got something like uh, well a statue again is going to be a difficult one but a shop or a garage you know you include a little crop farm somewhere in there I guess not all of these overlap 100% but uh, this one you can see use prismarine blocks or use lots of water in your build and uh, use a texture pack is another one. There's also something in there like use uh, include a piston door. So with this thing, you know, if you're looking for inspiration, you don't know what to build, you can just open the chests and it will give you a whole bunch of ideas. So you may be wondering, how did I do this? Well, it's pretty simple. We use the super simple item randomizer. I did a tutorial on this a while ago. You can click on the link on the screen if you'd like to check that out. But it's real simple. Basically, we've got a bunch of these contraptions right here. So we have a dropper facing up facing into the chest and then a hopper here so each time we open this we're going to lock the hopper so we can see what's in the chest we're also going to power this dropper and this one so the items are going to move up into the one above and then across into the chest in front of it so use lots of water and you can kind of get a sneak preview by looking in the in the dropper at the back there um, so then what we've done is tiled them side by side and put a whole bunch of ideas in so you could of course uh, make this yourself and put your own ideas in here you could put more than I did in there as well if you wanted to and maybe you can even make some more categories and parameters and that way you can generate um, an idea machine but this also comes with something extremely cool it's down there in the description box for you to copy if you have a command block and a redstone block you can paste this into your world with a one block command courtesy of Jerry Brano the creator of the UHC blocks I'll put a link to that project down there as well so if you ever wanted to play UHC with a single command block to set it all up for you you need to go and check out um, Jerry's project page on planet Minecraft but he made this for us which is very kind of him you place down your command block you paste in the command almost forgot to do that put the redstone block on top of it and then it actually creates this thing for you in your world which is pretty damn fantastic so now you can uh, you know, open the chests and get your ideas for building so that is it for this Minecraft tutorial. There isn't going to be a world download, just the command block in the description box down below so you can paste it into your world. And if you want to rebuild this yourself, then go check out that tutorial. You'll learn how to build the randomizer and then just put all your ideas in there. And if you'd like to share some idea lists with me, maybe other ways we could put things together for perhaps redstone challenges and things like that, then the comments is the place to go. Um, I'm sure we could come up with a whole bunch of ideas and keep this game nice and interesting for ourselves. Uh, by giving ourselves a bunch of building challenges to do. Anyway, that's going to be it for this video. If you have enjoyed it, please do leave a like. It will always be appreciated. But as always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.